episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. little pieces What of the tongue. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, oh, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren. This is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Okay. 
school. That's it? The video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave a link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Bitch. Oh, shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. No book here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. I'll wear those cute, cute lace. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Kate, you in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. 
Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I had no choice. David Madsen is an asshole. You had the choice to not get involved. Nobody here seems to care about anybody. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. So, why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and... Right. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. So, Max, can I ask you a question? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. 
I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal, after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. So, Max, can I ask you? If you do that, they won't believe you. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? The usual, you know. Seems like you know more. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Lauren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Lauren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. 
You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Max, it's over here. Lauren, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Waiting? By the way, thank you. Oh, yes, you do. I got... You're a real everyday hero. Even though you left me with said... An old friend. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in the... He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. Max, come on over here. Lauren, what are you... Oh, nothing. By the way... Oh. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you... An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Yes, that's exactly... Oh, well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. <laughs> 